Now, Adrian, your bagels were good, but I'm going to do a Zoe style of bagel. So I'm going to do a beautiful Moroccan pumpkin. This is so simple. I've already gone ahead and cut my pumpkin into little cubes. Nice. I just put it straight into the baking tray. I've got a little bit of cumin. I love using cumin. Nice. A little bit of some cinnamon in there as well. And a little bit of coriander. Nice, all ground. Now, beautiful. all ground, yeah. ready to go. Easy. So easy. And always good quality extra virgin olive oil. Nice. The Australian kind, that's what we want. Let's not go overseas to get all the good oil. This is the good stuff's just here. And you'll be happy to know I'm going to put some salt in it. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I was chafing at the bit then. There we go. Oh, just a little bit. That. Just give that. I could almost see my hands doing that. There we go. So give that a bit yeah, of a mix like around. This. Oh, and look, we've got one with a scape. <laughs> I'm going to pop this in the oven, 190 to 200 for 10 to 15 minutes. Just before they're cooked, I'm going to lightly cook my bagels. A little bit of olive oil. It's going to be amazing. Adrian, you know I love whole food eating, so I'm actually going to use the multi-grain bagels, which nice. I think are lovely. For me, a little bit more filling, a bit yep. more fibre, all the stuff I like. You can use up all the multi-grain ones you want, and I'll use up the sesame seed ones. They're my favourite. <laughs> all right, so I like to actually um, just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the bagel. You can toast these, you can oven bake them if you want to. Nice. But I'm going to use the little griddle pan for this, or the grill pan. Nice. And then olive oil down. On there, I like to get the little markings as well. It's like char grilled bagels. What a great <laughs> idea. There we go. I'll well, that, that adds a little bit more of that, you know, that smoky dimension, which I like. And okay. what we'll do is I'm going to grab the pumpkin, but you can make a little avocado mash. So okay. just avocado, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of lime juice, and we're going to put that on the bottom of the bagel. Sure. I'll grab the pumpkin. And I'm also going I to I can add, smell them. It smells great. Yeah, they're, they're sweet and got all those lovely different spices. But I'm also going to add a little bit of pomegranate molasses. Nice. I love using this. It has that beautiful sort of sweet, sour flavour. But just a little bit, I think, goes a long way as well. Great. Just and it gives it... A, it's great in, uh, in milk as well. You can put a little bit of that in milk and give it a lovely flavour. Never had it in milk. There you go. There's wow. something new for you. Wow, something new. I like that. I like to try new varieties of food. Oh, can you smell? As soon as the heat hits that pomegranate, it, it, it has that lovely sort of berry smell to it. It's really beautiful. It smells very good to me. There we go. Corny. Dad joke. <laughs> all right, so it's all about sort of assembling. You could put lots of different flavours with this, but I think what works really well is I'm going to use a, a little bit of dukkha. Um, dukkha is a, a lot of different spices and nuts and sesame seeds, um, some labna. So labna is um, a dairy cheese, but it's, it's sort of in between yoghurt and cheese. Love it. So it's got that lovely sort of sourness, uh, and I think works so well with the pumpkin because you get the lovely sort of richness from the avocado, the sweetness from the pumpkin and the labna and the lovely base of the bagel. Just complementary each other so nicely. Beautiful. All right, let's assemble. All right, Adrian, do you want to just pass me that bowl beside you? And what I might do is I might just put this into the bowl. And then I'll take that tray for you. Thank you. Oh, Teamwork. I love sweet pumpkin. Caramelised yeah. is beautiful. Let's pop the bagels on here. Oh, perfect. Look at that, a little bit of a marking on it. Didn't take very long at all. It's no, beautiful. really simple. And I like using the olive oil with it as well because, again, it just adds a little bit more richness overall. Nice. There we go. Here's a little base for you. I reckon you've got a, got a plate that's just a little bit small there. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now, so smear some avocado. avocado. Yep, I can put some of that on. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. A little bit on there and a little bit on here. There we go. Nice one. Excellent. And I'll use a spoon just Groove to spread around. that You've got to keep that hole though, don't you? That's kind of the art of all of this. Well, I sort of covered it up with some salami, but if you want to keep it, keep it there, that's all right. Well, I can get some salami from the <laughs> fridge if you want. No. There we go. No, thank you. And a little the bit of labna on top. Ooh. There we go. My avocado is not staying on my bagel. I'm just going to spread the lubna around with my fingers. Just mm. little little dollops like that, isn't See, it? See, that was the right way to do it. There we go. And then the pumpkin itself. So. And then I get to lick my fingers. <laughs> so just with a, a little bit of a fork or a knife, there we go. a spoon, pop that on. Look at that. I'm going to go really arty here. I'm going to put the little uh, bits of pumpkin in between oh, the lubna. Oh, yours are so much more beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. And I've got some rocket. So just tear the rocket off. And rocket sort of almost is a bit of a garnish on the top. I'm going to put it in the middle, using the hole for good and not evil. There we go. How's that? And, and a little bit of the ducker on top. Sprinkle oh, the ducker. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? This I think me. it's a great little combo, Zoe. I think it works really well. It smells good. This is my kind of brunch. It's healthy. It's filling. It looks beautiful as well. That's all about the taste. Pick it up and eat it. Oh. 
pumpkin. Zoe, I love the pumpkin. The sweetness of the pumpkin and the spice in there works really well. It's nice and sort of creamy and soft as well. The bagel's got that crispness on the top and soft underneath, perfect. Mm, a little bit of warmth, the perfect brunch.